A Joomla template controls the overall look and layout of a site, and templates also provide a framework that tie together elements like articles, menu items, modules, and extensions. In a previous tutorial, I mentioned that we're using this Protostar template as our default template once we launch a Joomla site. In this tutorial, I'll show you the basics of using templates in Joomla 3, we'll change default templates, and I'll demonstrate how to install a new template. To access our templates, let's return to the back end of our site, and we can either go to the Template Manager from the Extensions drop-down at the top of the page, or select Template Manager from our Configuration options in our toolbar. When we first open our Template Manager, we'll notice that we have four templates installed by default. Two of the templates, Bs3 and Protostar, are site templates, they're for the front end, and the other two, the Hathor and Isis templates, are for the back end or the administrator. We can click on the default star in the default column to change templates, and this is the Hathor template for the administration area that gives us a new look and feel for the back end of the site. I've grown accustomed to using Isis, so I'll find the default star again and change back to the Isis template. There are many administrative templates out there and you should find the look and feel that works best for you. At this point, please also notice the green message at the top of the page that lets you know you made a save successfully in Joomla. You'll see a similar message every time you save something successfully. You may also see a yellow caution message or a red message letting you know a save was not made successfully. You can also install and use different templates for different pages of the site, but for this tutorial series, we'll focus on using just the Protostar template for the entire site. We'll click on the Protostar name to see what options are available to customize this template, and we'll take a look at the Advanced tab. Here we can see that there are a few options for customizing this template. We'll change the background color by selecting a new color from the color template, and once the color is selected, we'll click on Save in the toolbar. We'll get our green message just like before. We'll go to the front end of the site and refresh the page, and we'll see our new background color. It's nice to have some of the customization options available in the back end of the site, but there really aren't very many options here. So we're going to save and close this template, and we want to go to the internet to find a new template. The first place we'll go to look is a resource we've put together for you that you can find if you go to cloudaccess.net forward slash Joomla dash resources. By scrolling down this page, you can look at a list of third-party template providers that we've put together for you. These are just a few of the thousands of template developers in the Joomla community, and we know that they provide quality templates, and you can expect a reasonable amount of support from these companies. We recommend, however, that you use the Cloud-based 3 template that we've developed. You can find it by going to cloudaccess.net forward slash cloudbase dash 3. The Cloudbase 3 is a free and versatile template with a contemporary design perfect for really any type of Joomla 3 site. There are over 60 customizable options with 16 color presets. It's user friendly and it has a responsive layout. It looks great on any type of device. The best part is that we've developed the template and you can submit a support ticket if you have any questions on how to use it if your site's hosted with us. Click on the See Live Demo button to get a peek at what the template looks like. It's smart to look at the demo of the template and to make sure it's compatible with the version of Joomla you're using before you purchase anything. And you're not necessarily looking at images when you look at the demo, you're looking more at style and you want to look at color schemes and where menus are placed and things like that. You also want to make sure that you can look at module positions or the module map. This page shows off all the different positions you have available if you're going to download and install the Cloudbase 3. There are so many positions available in this template and you can put content in all of these positions in your website. If you're considering a template but you can't find the module map for that template, we do recommend that you find something else. In the demo of the Cloudbase 3, you can also look at topography, you can see what Joomla content looks like, and you can choose from one of 16 color presets. The salmon color is the default, but there are also 16 other presets to choose from. To download the Cloudbase 3 template, return to the Cloudbase 3 product page and click on Download Now for free. 
This will take you to a page within our knowledge base where you can download different variations of the template. The first button here is to go back to the demo site. The second button is to download the full JPA package which comes with the complete sample data set we were just looking at or click on download files to get just the blank slate template. I'll save this zip file to my downloads folder and it has to be in the form of a zip file if I want to install it in the back end of my Joomla site. To install the template, I won't do that in the template manager. I'll go to extensions and extension manager to install the template. We'll come back to this extension manager a few times in this tutorial series, but for now to upload an extension we'll go to the upload package file tab and click on choose file. Remember to upload an extension or template this way it has to be a zip file. I'll select the zip file from my computer and click on upload and install. Once the template has been installed successfully you'll receive the green message at the top of the page and we'll also receive a series of blue or green check marks letting us know the gantry framework was also installed for this template. At this point I'll return to the template manager and I'll see that the CloudBase 3 is installed and ready to use. I'll click on the star in the default template to make this the default site template. I'll return to the front end of the site, refresh the page, and I'll see that I have a new look and feel for the front end of the site. We recommend installing this blank slate template to learn how to build the site from the ground up. By returning to the back end of the Joomla site, you can click on the CloudBase 3 to see all the options you have available for customizing this template. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use some of these features to really personalize and customize your Joomla 3 site using the CloudBase 3 template.